Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to make the confetti criss cross bracelet. And what you're going to be needing for this confetti bracelet, you're going to be needing some A colored bands, B colored bands, some C colored bands, and some D colored bands. I just created this band organizer so this could be quite so much easier. I'm using black, white, teal and pink. So let's get started. I think I forgot to say at the start but you're also going to need you're also going to need an ethical parsley cup. So you're going to be starting by placing some A colored bands on the left side of the one. So you're going to start with the middle pin. You're going to go from the middle pin out to the left. And then you're going to go forward in a single chain. Like that. Go fast forward from here until we get to the second last peg of the one. So once you got to the second last peg, you're going to place it from that pin out to the middle. We're going to go back to the beginning of the one. And now you're going to start replacing A colour bands up the right side of the one. Start from the middle pin, stretch it up to the right, and continue doing this. right side of the one in a single chain. So, yeah. I'll fast forward her from here until we get to the second last pick. So once you get to the second last pick, then we're going to place it into the middle. Now, I'm going to go back to the start. Now, we're going to get our B colour bands. Main white. We're going to get them. We're going to get one of them. And then we're going to place it on these two pins like that. And grab the part of it. And make this so it's a triangle. Now you're going to do that again, and then over here, there's an egg leg, and then turn it on, so it's like a sandwich triangle. I'm going to repeat this until you reach the end of the other one. And then your last one will go here. We're going to return to the start. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. So you're going to get a white band. Place it like this. So it's like a bow tie shape. And we're going to do this like we did last time. So, yeah. Now fast forward from here. Now you're gonna get your first. You're gonna get a C colored band, and you're gonna double loop it. So you're going to um to set the figure eight, push it back upon its. So you're gonna make a cat band like this, then. I'm going to place it on here, that pin, like 
this. And then, I pretend like it's one bun, twist it, and then put it back on itself, right on that pen. And then, I'm going to get a decolored pen, and I'm going to twist it, and then put it on that pen. So now we're ready to start hot and bend the band. So I'm going to turn the wind around. And then we're going to put these white bands. So you're going to go in the double cut band. You're going to go inside of the double cut band. Go to the top band. And hook it on both two ends. Go to the next one. So I'll just cut this until the end of the one. And once you did that, I'm going to go to the bottom. And I'm going to go in this cut band. I'll have the white band. And then hook it on both two bands. And you're just going to do the same thing but on the other side. So I'm going to go in the cut band. I'm going to have the white band. I'm going to cut these two pins like this. And I'm going to do this till you reach the end of the room. So I will just cut this clip until I'm done. Okay, I did that. I'm going to go back to the start. And then you're going to whip your borders. I'm going to go in the cut bar in the middle. Go at the top band. And you cut out to the left. And then you're going to loop this black band right here. So you're going to pull all the bands above it back, grab it, then you're going to add it forward. Like that. And you're going to go next pin, put bands above that, pull all the bands above that back, then you're going to hook it forward. And you're going to do this until you reach the end of the room. I'll cut this clip until I'm finished. Once you reach the end, I'm going to grab the band that's here. I'm going to hook that into the middle. Might be a little bit stress on this. I'm going to hook that into the middle. Like this. And you're going to go back to the start. Go in the cut band. Hook back, back in the hook. I'm going to grab that black band and hook it up to the right. Now you're going to the, pull all the bands above that bottom black band back, grab it, and hook it forward. You're just doing that same thing until you get to the end. Once again, once you get to the end, you're going to grab that band, hook it into the middle, and be a little bit of stress on this, so don't want to pull it too hard, hook it into the middle. Then you're going to slide all the bands to the top. And then yeah, you're gonna put your hook in again through the pin. Grab an A colored band. Put it on your hook. Put it back up the pin. There's a way I actually have to do this. So you just stick your hook in and then take all the bands off that pin. And then you just pull a band through everything on your hook, just like I do in the green. But I just keep it like this until I pull it off, and then I pull it down through. So you're just going to take this off really carefully, 
you don't want any bad stuff on your cat pants, or puts a lot of tension on your ATM. Yeah, and my snap wiper just came off. So, uh, yeah, I'll be back once I pull everything off my room. I just pulled everything off the room now. So, yeah. We're gonna make your extension, so we're gonna decide which band you want for your extension, and it's eight. So, yeah. We're just gonna go straight up until you think it's your sizing, so. Since I just oh, since I just stuck my hook into all the bands, I'm gonna pull a band. I'm gonna pull a band. So everything on your hook, and then we clean like that. Then I'm gonna place the band that's on your hook. And these two bands. And you're just gonna look this in each other. Attach your ass clip to this band, last band. And then take out your finger. And then you're going to find your cat band. Yeah, then you want your fingers. Then find your ass clip. And then attach it and that is your confetti crisscross bracelet finished anyways guys i hope this you enjoyed this video um make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe goodbye